Welcome back to another episode. Today, we're going to take a quick look at two e-commerce companies. The first one's going to be C Limited. This one's highly, highly requested. And the second one is going to be Amazon. If this is your first time here, make sure to hit the thumbs up. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Check out the pinned comment where I have free newsletter, free discord, and a lot of great links for investors. So let's just jump right into it. The first thing I wanted to take a quick look at was just price action on these two stocks. C Limited has been super, super volatile year to date. And right now, it's down about 39.5 percent from its all-time highs while amazon is down about 8.3 percent and this seems crazy right but now if we take a look at normalize and look year to date both amazon and c limited have kind of seen similar results now after this big drop uh, so it kind of just shows hey do you want a nice volatile stock that can provide some strong returns, uh, which would be C limited right now, year to date is up about 11.55%. Or do you want a little bit more stable company like Amazon, where it might not fluctuate as much, but look, 5% uh, year to date. Uh, and obviously, right, this is after a huge, huge downturn uh, for C limited. So the first thing I want to show, uh, so next, let's try to understand each company and why I'm excited for both of them, even though I don't have Amazon, there's a lot of excitement behind that company. So C Limited right now sitting at $222. Uh, for those not familiar, this is the mean three headed dragon. And they have three main products, Garena, which is their digital entertainment, Shopee, which is e-commerce and C Money, which is digital financial services. But let's take a closer, closer look at each of them. So Shopee right now, it's in a lot of region. It continues to expand, right? We can see them a lot in Southeast Asia, places like Indonesia, Taiwan, Vietnam, Thailand, Philippines, Malaysia, Singapore. But it has recently started to expand into Latin America, a huge, huge market. It's in Brazil, Mexico, Colombia, Chile, Poland, with Europe, Spain, France, and India. So both Europe and Latin America are its expansion right now. Um, and India, right? That's, I think, a huge, huge market there. So if we just take a quick look at any of them, uh, let me just go to Mexico uh, real quick. And it, it's pretty much just the e-commerce store, right? E-commerce solutions, pretty much like you're going to any American uh, e-commerce solutions, right? So that's where, that's their Shopee application. Another one, we can see they are opening up Sharp Shopee Argentina. Uh, and that's expected to come in January of 2022. But before we begin, let's take a listen to today's sponsor. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. The Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for investors of all skill sets and risk levels. You guys know I love finding new investing tools and resources to help me scout out new growth stocks. And right now I have a discount for one of my favorite services The Fool offers. Through The Motley Fool Stock Advisor Services, you get access to a ton of expert stock picks. Every month you'll get two new picks that are aimed at growing your wealth and to help you realize your financial goals. Stock advisors' average stock picks have done amazing returns. If growing your money is something you'd like to do more of this year, you can visit fool.com slash Jose Naharo or click on the link below for access to my special offer and decide if the stock advisor is right for you. Thanks again to The Motley Fool and now on to today's video. Now if we take a quick look at Garena, Garena is pretty much two main platforms. You can either download it for your PC or you can download it for your phone uh, and it's in the two major iOS uh, operating systems. Here in Garena, you can play a lot of the games owned or licensed um, by Garena. And since they have kind of strong partnerships with an, a company that owns them, Tencent, uh, they're able to have a lot of games in there like League of Legends, Call of Duty, Arena of Valor. Their biggest game is Free Fire and continues to be one of the biggest games worldwide. Uh, they also have Speed Drifters. So I think, I mean, Free Fire, in my opinion, is, even though it's one game, a lot of people put a lot of risk behind this game, say, hey, one game can't last forever. We'll talk to Activision and World of Warcraft, right? It's been over 15 years, I believe, maybe even longer than that, of how strong World of Warcraft has done. So there is always the possibility of a game being super, super strong and just keeping the money aligned and kind of that money coming in. Now, if we take a look at C Money, C Money is done in numerous ways. First, they have mobile wallets, right? Mobile wallets, they have Shopee Pay and AirPay. This is uh, available in a lot, a lot of Southeast countries, Southeast Asian countries, Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, 
Singapore, Thailand, Vietnam. Then they also have offline payment services. So if let's say you want to do some form of e-commerce, uh, a commerce store, and you need some form of payment services, they also have AirPay counter. Uh, this is allowed in Indonesia, Thailand, and Vietnam. Next, they also have uh, consumer loans, uh, consumer loans, cash loans, and seller financing. Again, these are mainly right now in Southeast Asia countries like Indonesia, uh, Malaysia. Uh, now, uh, we, we understand what the company does, and I think it's super, super interesting. They're hitting three main markets, the e-commerce, the e E experience which is gaming and the e payment which is kind of digital wallets and i believe all those three markets are going to continue to grow now if we take a quick look at fundamentals we can see triple digit growth in gap revenue 122 percent year-over-year growth in the most recent earnings this is insane pretty much insane right pretty much driven by their e-commerce solutions as they are expanding into new regions but their growth in digital entertainment bookings which is their gaming is up 29 percent uh, we can see quarterly active users continue to grow year over year and quarter over quarter same with quarterly paying users one thing to keep in mind of and maybe a bearish sentiment if we take a look at quarter to quarter that growth is not as strong as before but remember all these historical last year have been through in the these COVID times where lockdown restrictions and, and other types of restrictions have prevented people from kind of doing stuff outside to some extent. Um, but for it to still see some form of growth quarter over quarter and year over year, I think that's super impressive. Gross orders you can see and, and gross market volume continue to increase dramatically in the e-commerce solutions. This company though, it's we can see it's in very early stages. It's not profitable. Even if we take a look at total adjusted um, EBITDA, it's still not profitable. This most recent quarter, it lost about $165.5 million. The great thing, and, and I wanna say, right, this most recent quarter, it's just been expanding into new markets like crazy, but it's able to do this because of that profitability that comes from its digital entertainment business. And this is why I enjoy C Limited the most. The power of gaming, I, I personally see um, C Limited as a strong gaming company that uses that gaming asset to kind of grow its e-commerce solutions. Um, and, and I think it's gonna continue to focus on the gaming market because it knows how important it is. Some people might see it another way, right? And I think that's the great thing about investing. You can have different minds and some people might see it as a strong e-commerce company with a strong gaming company behind it. Um, so we can see with its profitability in digital entertainment, it allows it to grow into other markets. And I believe, 2022 at these price at this price point 2022 will probably be another volatile year but for the next three to five years i would gladly buy c limited at these prices and i have so it was just technicals uh, i'm not much of a technical guy but i like to make sure i'm buying at somewhat attractive levels if we take a quick look at c limited i do believe this price point near the 200 dollars we see plenty of plenty of support i like it there that doesn't mean stock prices can't go down obviously volatility in the market is always random and it can go down even further but i do believe a good portion of the risk has been eliminated i do have c limited in my position and while this dip has happened i have picked up a nice amount of position and increased my overall portfolio this is one of my top four positions at the moment feel free to join the discord if you want me if you want to see my buy times uh so the second company we're going to take a quick look at is amazon now this is a big player right market cap of 1.74 trillion dollars Sitting at 3,421. Let's take a quick look at those technicals. Like I mentioned, Amazon has been pretty quiet, in my opinion, since July and June of 2020. So over a year and a half ago. So Amazon, let's just take a quick look. I'm pretty sure everybody's familiar, but let's take a look at some of the solutions. The biggest solution, right, is their e-commerce. The second and one of my favorite solutions is their clouding service, which AWS, right? They, they have many, many big companies working using AWS products and solutions. Some other ones that people might not be too, too familiar with is Amazon ads. And we're going to take a quick look at revenue breakdown and how strong some of these platforms are doing. Amazon ads is one people in my, in my opinion are sleeping on. Then they also have content creation platforms like Twitch TV for streamers. They also have the numerous subscription services like Amazon music, uh, Amazon audible, uh, and they also have uh, Amazon TV, 
uh, followed by numerous brands that they own. Uh, so if you take a look, Amazon also has a lot of Amazon basics from pharmaceutical, electronics, clothing lines, um, smart products, Alexa. Uh, so Amazon, I want to say it's the ultimate diversified company uh, to some extent. And here I'm taking a quick look at their most recent revenue and net sales, right? They give you a few majors so they have online sales stores that's e-commerce online stores in their most recent quarter grew three percent so we can see the years before of during covid or the time during covid this was growing at crazy levels it was growing at 49 37 43 41 percent strong double digits then kind of when lockdown restrictions started to uh started to ease up um the growth started to slow down but it's still growing and i think that's super impressive Physical stores kind of saw the opposite. Um, <clears throat> Amazon sells a few products that go on physical kind of stores. So there, obviously, during COVID, kind of saw a slowdown. Now that things are kind of easing up, that's seeing double-digit growth. Third-party sellers, third-party includes commissions and any related fulfillment, shipping fees, and other third-party sellers. Again, that's very f that, that kind of fluctuates with e-commerce online sales. The more they do online sales, the probably the more they're going to see that kind of growth in third party. We can see in the past during COVID, they were growing at crazy, crazy double digits. Most recent quarter grew 18%. Now we're talking about their subscription services. Subscription services, these are a little bit more constant in my opinion, right? They don't fluctuate as much uh, and they have been growing at strong double digits as well. Most recent quarter grew 23%. Now we're going to take a quick look at AWS. AWS is probably my favorite. Um, this is their clouding and we can see over Overall growth continues to be strong double digits. Most recent quarter, the um, AWS grew 39%. Now, if we take a look at other, other is a business everybody I want to fail, I, I feel is sleeping on. And other primarily includes sales of advertising services. Uh, so this is up 49% right now, and it's up to $8 billion. That's half of AWS. So in just a few quarters, it has grown. Uh, same time last year, uh, it was about 5.3. So 50% growth. That is insane. 8 billion, half of, it, it's almost total. It's almost as much as subscription services already in such short amount of time. Uh, so I believe that's going to be a huge, huge player for Amazon in the next few, in the next few quarters. And this is why, because Amazon has everything. Hey, you want to advertise on our music podcast platform? Feel free to do so. You want to advertise on Audibles? Feel free to do so. You want to advertise on Amazon TV? You want to uh, advertise on our e-commerce platforms? We have solutions. You want to advertise on the streaming platform? Feel free to do it. Just give us some money. So they have this huge, huge kind of market uh, where they're able to advertise. And there's a lot of people keeping their eyes on them. A uh, few things to keep an eye out, though. Amazon is really focusing on growing, even though it's already a monster. We can see free cash flow was down in the most recent quarter to some down 91% year over year. The company is spending a lot more money on kind of uh, on equipment and making sure it has the right infrastructure to continue to grow. As a long-term investor, things like this wouldn't freak me out. I would actually enjoy that. Enjoy that they are powering and making sure they continue to be the leader in the market. Um, again, this is not a company I own, but I definitely see the excitement. Uh, some recent stuff in December 14th, for example, AWS launches regions in Indonesia. Uh, so that's amazing. Then we can see Meta Platforms, uh, which is formerly known as Facebook, has selected AWS as key long-term strategic cloud provider. And we know Amazon, uh, Facebook is going to need a lot of cloud computing um, with this move to, meta, to the metaverse, with its move to continue to grow the social platforms. So both these companies, I think in the next three to five years, will be great investments I, in my portfolio. At the moment, I only own Shopee uh, or C Limited, but... Uh, but Amazon doesn't seem half bad. It's one of those that, hey, maybe I don't want something that moves too much. That's too volatile. Uh, let me pick some shares up. Uh, but at the moment, if you want to know when I buy or sell stocks, make sure to join the Discord channel. Take care. Have a good day and see you next time.